My name is Ben Adikiwia. I was born in Arusha. I went to schools here in Arusha. My father is mechanics and my mother is a tailor. So they make the, my father buys a used car, take apart parts and use the spare parts for reselling them. And my mother, she's good in making clothes. So she buy fabrics and make clothes. My parents doing those kind of stuff. And I think that is what inspired me to become like an, an inventor. And uh, I remember like when I was in primary schools, our teacher used to take us out for the factory and the, what, I mean, a biscuit company. It was very interesting because you see how those biscuits made, like you see them moving, the machines have a number of moving parts. And for me, it was very interesting to see how they mix flowers and how they cut biscuits and how they dry them and how they pack them. So since that time, I think of myself for like how people they made this machine. When I started that kind of works, everybody was like in the street or at home. They were surprising to see, hey, this, mach this machine or this device is good. How do you learn how to make this? And I say, no, it's myself. Like I, you just see what's something moving. I mean, you see other machine and you copy it from that machine. Then you add something, then you, you make your own machine. 2005, I've got somebody employed me. Like there is a company called, I mean, organization that was called the Global Cycle Solution. They were looking for somebody who can teach youth how to repair bicycles. So they just employ me and I went there. And my work there was to help to teach other, I mean, youth how to repair bicycles. So they can, be, they can be employed in the community to help farmers to repair their bicycle. I think my, my first machine was the air compressor. It was a pedal powered air compressor, whereby I used to give like a punishment for students when they do something wrong. So they, they go to the machine, they just spend maybe 10 minutes there pedaling so they can store the air to put to fill in the wheels and that was the very nice machine because everybody when they say they say ah this machine is good how do you made it and we, sometimes i invite people and give some details how this made it then there's a lady who was like my employer she was samantha she say like bernard you know i went to us and i find like there's this, what you, we, they, we, they call it IDDS, is a very big summit happening in the US. And uh, what they do is inviting people like you with the, this kind of creative and whatever. Then I say to that lady, you know, I don't think I can be there because as you see, my education is very low. And you say like, this is universities in the US. How can I fit with the people from the US? And I say, no, you should go because this summit is, including people from all over the world. So it's better to be there. And maybe you'll learn something and you'll meet some people there. Then I say, okay, I'll go. Then she did all, I mean, she arranged for the traveling. Then I went to US. I f there was a number of people from all over the world, about, uh, I think it was about 70 people. They came. And they were trying to show their inventions. And I remember there was a guy from Guatemala, his name was Carlos. He created something like a pedal powered juice. Then I think of myself like I'm working with the bicycles and I have this number of metals. This is a device that I can make it back home. Then when I came back, I think like the first thing I did is like to copy that technology. So I took some metals and uh, put together as I saw there and uh, find a broken jug, electrical broken jug, put it there. And the machine now was like, everybody was saying, ah, this is nice, how do you get this? From that point, I started like, maybe instead of buying, I mean, just buying something ready-made, let me start making my stuff because people are very interested. If you make things, they really like it. Then from that, I started using the bike parts, remaining bike frames, making like, chairs and uh, all kind of furnitures from bike make, I mean, scraps.
in our country, like Tanzania, mostly when you have scrap metals, what they do is they recycle them. Just bring them those metals to the factory and melt them and to make new metals. But for me, I do the different because I don't do I do recycling by making another thing. So if I have the bike frames, I can switch them to furniture. Like now, what I'm doing is I've started a program helping students in primary schools now so they can learn how to make stuff. So I've started a program of helping students from standard D five to seven to be creative. Hi, this is my home where you can see most of my invention. Karibu, welcome. In this community, we don't have running water from the city. So what people do is they dig, well, they dig wells to collect the water. But for me, I just build this machine. It's made out of bicycle parts. And how it works is you just... pedal it and you can take water from the well to my home. This is solar water heater made out of recycling material. Inside there is a black tubes. These are fluorescent tubes. When they burn from electricity, people throw them. But what I do, I just collect them and attach to this device. On top here there is a glass. Inside there is shining material is a kitchen foil. When you come to this part, inside there is a plastic water container. These two sides there is a food plates. And just outside here is a roofing sheet. This device can warm water up to 75 centigrade. So it helped my family and myself to have the hot water in our house. This is my house and I love flowers. As you can see, there's flower in the old car tires. What people do normally, if they find these I mean, tires, what they do, they burn them, which is bad for environment. But for me, I just find the way that you can cut them, put the flower and make my house look nice. This is a cool box where you can keep the vegetable for almost for at least one week fresh. Outside there is water carriers that will let the box outside wet and inside cold. So if you open it, you can see the tomatoes are very fresh. Maybe I'll try this one. Yeah, I like it. Very nice. Mm-hmm. Mambo. Yeah, no, 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 no